welcome to my youtube channel my name is hazel mukami and i'm basically a wine sommelier so this channel is going to be about everything you need to know about wine different countries that produce wine in the world and um, tips on choosing a good wine so stay tuned and i'm so grateful for you, for the support and for being with me through this journey so yeah let's get straight into the video so we're going to start from scratch the definition of wine wine is actually an alcoholic drink that is made from fermentation of grapes so someone actually asked me these wine grapes are they the same as the normal grapes that we buy from the supermarket and i was like no because wine grapes are actually smaller and they have thicker skin compared to like the normal grapes that we buy from the supermarket they're usually bigger and they have thinner skin so yeah that's basically the difference between wine grapes and the normal grapes so on to the next thing the types of wine that we have we have red wine we have white wine we have rosé we have sparkling and we have champagne so the difference between uh, red and white is red is actually made from red grapes and white is actually made from white and green or peach grapes so the only difference is that when red wine is actually made it's usually fermented with the skin and the seeds but for white wine they don't ferment um they don't ferment it with the the skin and the seeds so that they get that um white color you know if you know the skin usually gives out some reddish color that's why the red wine they usually ferment it with the skin and the seeds so that's basically the difference between red wine and white wine for rosé um they actually leave the skin with the with the grape or with the juice for a period of time then they discard it so that it gets that pinkish color you know roses are usually hmm, pinkish so yeah they usually leave the skin uh for a period of time and then they discard it because you know if they leave it the same duration of time it will end up being a red wine and it won't be a rose anymore so yeah that's basically it for the red white and the rose so moving on to sparkling and champagne so funny thing is that the only difference between sparkling and champagne is because sparkling was not made in champagne so champagne is actually a region in france and if anything is made close to a champagne or similar to a champagne but it's not made in the region called champagne then that's not champagne it's sparkling you can, you can imagine so the difference between sparkling champagne and the reds and the rosé is that red uh red and white like be, okay they have a difference they still and they sparkling like bubbly yeah so the difference is that the sparkling and the champagnes they're usually made to go through a second fermentation process so like they add more yeast and more sugars to make sure like they produce more carbon dioxide and that is why like when you pop that champagne or you pop that sparkling it usually like it's a bubbly it usually pops because it has carbon dioxide yeah so basically those are the types of wine that we have so we see it red white rosé sparkling and champagne i hope you guys understood that part so yeah so I'm going to mention a few top countries that usually produce good wine in the world or like recognized countries. So there's France, there's Italy, there's Spain, there's South Africa, there's Chile, there's Argentina, there's New Zealand. What else? What else? There's Romania. Yeah, those <laughs> those are basically the top most um countries that produce wine. So actually we're going to talk about now the grape varieties that make that usually that are used to make wine 
because this is a very important topic because this is what is going to actually help you get to know your wines really well because once you know this particular wine is produced by this particular grape and you like this particular grape trust me it won't be really hard for you to choose a wine because you know everyone has a personal choice everyone has a personal liking some people like sweet some people like dry some people like semi-sweet you know i can't actually tell you like this is the best or like go for this and maybe maybe you're someone who likes sweet and i tell you to go for dry you know it doesn't, it doesn't make sense because you'll be like i didn't i didn't like this one at all because it's 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 better if i just like guide you through so that as time goes by you get to know what you like what you prefer um the grapes that you like in your wines you know that's whole this like a whole different level so i hope you guys have understood about red the difference between red white rosé sparkling and champagne so now we're going to get into like the grapes that usually make like red wine the grapes that make white wine and the make the wine the grapes that make like this the bubblies okay so we're going to start with the red grape varieties that are used to make red wine so just to mention a few there are cabernet sauvignon there is melo there is malbec there is pinot noir there is grenache there is carignan there is syrah just to mention a few so actually when i started working at the wine store um the word cabernet sauvignon is written as cabernet sauvignon like it's when you spell it it's c a b e r n e t i'm sure if i spelled it but when you read it it's cabernet so nilkozileza hey so wakalenjin squeeze wana produce wine na mimi siji anyway no offense to my kalenjin followers no offense i'm just saying something that i actually experienced in person so i used to to say it as cabernet and it was so embarrassing but you know what it is what it is until you learn you have to learn you know it's a process so i just was like okay now i know <laughs> anyway so let's go to white wine grape varieties we have chardonnay we have sauvignon blanc we have viognier we have masan we have riesling we have muscat blanc or moscato or moscato depending on <laughs> how your english is so yeah those are the few wine white wine grape varieties um for sparkling and champagne they usually most of them are made from the from blends of pinot noir, chardonnay and pinot noir. So they actually combine most of them, not all of them, because you can get a you can get a sparkling chardonnay like a blanc de blanc, like just chardonnay and some of them are like blends of pinot noir and chardonnay. Yeah. So, I hope I'm talking a language that everyone can understand. Like I hope I've been able to take you through what wine is um the difference between red and white wine and champagne and sparkling um the 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 grape varieties of red wine and the grape varieties of white wine so this is the tip the reason as to why i made this youtube channel is because i want to take you through like step by step to be able to help you know what you like to be able to help you know what to pick so this is the tip now if you're a person who likes sweet wine or if you're a person who actually likes sweet things you have a sweet tooth please just go for for sweet wine don't let people tell you oh siji if you do if you like sweet wine you should you are an amateur no 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 if you, you if you like sweet wine go for sweet don't go for dry wine just because people are drinking dry wine please if you have a sweet tooth go and sort yourself out with a with a nice and good sweet wine okay so 
I'm going to give a, give out examples. If you're a person who likes sweet things, you're most likely to to like um sweet wine. But if you're a person who likes like for example, you like your coffee black and sharp, then you're most likely to like your your wines dry. And another tip is that if you're a person who like apples, you're most likely to to like um sweet wines and if you're a person who likes um grapefruit you're most likely to like dry wines so here's one thing you know there are the countries that used to produce wine kitambo like back then like france and italy spain they're known for that like that then old world wines but now for the new world wines like california and south africa so if you're a person who who has a sweet tooth or you actually like sweet wine, you will enjoy wines from those particular regions, like the New World regions, like California and South Africa. But if you're a person who who likes your your coffee uh, sharp or like you like your black coffee really strong, then you're a person who will enjoy wines from like France and Italy and Spain because that like the old the old wine people who started like long ago they know how to ferment and they know they like the people the the market is for the more drier people like the the people who like dry wine I don't know if you get me so yeah that's the tip so this is another thing when you're a beginner or when you want to start drinking wine and getting to know wine pole pole step by step i really advise you to start with a rosé wine or a white sweet because now i don't want to start with dry because when you get to drink a dry wine you might not like it you know it's better to start from that sweet end and go step by step and you're like Hey, let me try semi sweet today. Okay, the following day, you're like, okay, let me try a dry wine. You know, with time and experience, you get to know what you like. Another thing, when you go to the supermarket and you don't know what to pick, please read at the back side of the of the bottle. They usually write like how the wine tastes, if it's fruity, if it has um, citrus uh, notes, if it has peach notes. If it's um, berries or if it if it's spicy or it has that sharpness you know at least you will get to understand yourself and you'll be like I don't like something that is spicy let me not try something that is spicy okay I like something that's that is more citrusy let me try something that is more citrusy because it will help you with time to know what you actually prefer that's why I said it's really important to know the grape variety of the wine because it will help you a person like me for whites i like chardonnay so you know the difference between um like grapes from from france from italy all those countries they they grow those the chardonnays and all those grape varieties but the difference is different climate different temperature different altitude and latitude and all those geographical things that i don't know but main thing the climate and the temperatures are different so a chardonnay that is um grown in france and a chardonnay that is grown in chile or california those are two different they have a different taste because most of my clients ask me okay all of these are chardonnays why why do they taste why is what is the difference the difference is that they are grown from different regions of the of the world and different regions of the world have different cl climates they have different temperatures so it's really important to know what grape variety you like i hope i'm not confusing anyone i actually hope that i'm helping so the reason as to why i said knowing the grape varieties is important is because it will help you know what you prefer and what you like more so today you'll be like let me try this malbec and you're like i malbec no let me try this cabernet sauvignon and you're like i like cabernet sauvignon so you know with time and experience you get to know what you like if you're a sweet tooth and you like sweet things i like recommend or i, or I advise you to get a moscato either white or sparkling um riesling 
or you can get also a rosé wine or a chardonnay chardonnays are actually fruity and flowery so yeah you can actually opt for those and one other thing is that don't be afraid to choose young wines you know people are like oh the older the better but um actually that applies most to red wines so don't be afraid to choose a young wine like a 2018 or something like that yeah and then about food pairing like i'll just give a short information about that because i'll i'll come up with a youtube channel about food pairing and actually if your white wines go with light meals like cheese and all those all those wazungu stuff and red wine mostly goes with red meat uh pork you know yeah so but i'll i'll give a detailed uh video about food pairing with wine and all that yeah and like sweet wines or dessert wines they usually go with desserts like cakes or something sweet as well so yeah that's the main thing so i hope you guys have grabbed one thing or two from this video i know i've not answered to all the questions that were asked on my instagram but i'm taking you step by step because this was just an introduction to wine but i'll be answering your questions as i go so thank you so much for the support and um yeah i'll see you guys next monday give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down if you don't like the video and tell me why you didn't like the video or you tell me what to improve or what to talk about next yeah i'm not perfect but i will compromise that and i will take it positively so yeah thank you so much for everything thank you for the support and i'll see you guys next time bye Tell me that you love me